Sledgehammer Games, Inc. is an American video game developer, formed in 2009 by Glenn Schofield and Michael Condry. The pair formerly worked at Visceral Games and are responsible for the creation of Dead Space. The company is an independent, wholly owned subsidiary of Activision and is based in Foster City, California. The studio is known for co-developing Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3 with Infinity Ward, and developing Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare as well as Call of Duty, World War II. History Sledgehammer Games co-founders Schofield and Condry worked together at Electronic Arts in 2005 on 007, From Russia with Love, with Condry as director and Schofield executive producer. The collaboration carried forward to Dead Space. The two men had complementary skills and similar backgrounds. Middle class with fathers in the construction business. After founding Sledgehammer Games in July 2009, Schofield and Condry made Activision a proposal they would attempt to replicate their success with Dead Space, with a third person spin off of the Call of Duty franchise. Activision sat on the proposal for weeks until Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick offered to bring the studio into the Activision fold. Schofield and Condry accepted, viewing Activision's independent studio model as an opportunity to preserve the company's creative culture, development methodology, and staff, while having the security of an alliance with the industry's largest publisher. Sledgehammer Games spent six to eight months working on the Call of Duty project in 2009, enough to produce a prototype with about 15 minutes of play. The game would have reportedly extended the franchise into the action-adventure genre, but a legal battle between Infinity Ward, the studio behind the Modern Warfare franchise, and co-founders Jason West and Vince Zampella resulted in the pair's departure. They took several Infinity Ward employees with them to their new company, leaving Activision with about half the staff and a deadline of about 20 months versus a typical 24 months to complete the next game in the franchise, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3. Activision requested that Sledgehammer Games stop work on the third person shooter and collaborate with Infinity Ward instead. The offer was a gamble for both sides. Activision was calling on a studio that had not put out a game on its own, while Sledgehammer Games would be abandoning weeks of work in the genre they were most familiar with to take on a punishing schedule in a high profile franchise. Infinity Ward was more likely to receive credit for any success, while Sledgehammer Games was apt to be blamed for any failure. The studio first pulled its staff and got unanimous approval. It was a massive risk for Schofield and Condry's new studio, and one that most outside of the industry never considered," wrote Ryan Fleming in Digital Trends. The Infinity Ward name was the marquee on the Modern Warfare franchise, but failure to deliver on Activision's golden egg would have resulted in a wave that crippled those in its path. Looking back at the success of that game and franchise as a whole, it is easy to overlook the chance Sledgehammer took." The collaboration with Infinity Ward marked the first time a co-development relationship would produce a modern warfare title, with both companies' logos appearing on the packaging. Despite the company's differing histories and development methodologies, Gamestom called the arrangement a rare symbiotic relationship for such a high-profile game. The two teams first met in the spring of 2010 to compare ideas. There was some overlap, both teams wanted to set the game in Europe and, recalled Schofield, achieve a payoff on the story that had been told over the last four years. It was announced in February 2014 that Sledgehammer Games would be developing a new Call of Duty title, slated for release in late 2014. On May 1, Game Informer teased a high-resolution image of a soldier wearing an exoskeleton suit. It was also announced that more details, the cover, the full name, and a trailer would be released on May 4. However the trailer was leaked which confirmed the release of Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare on November 4, 2014. On April 21, 2017, Sledgehammer Games and Activision announced their next Call of Duty game, titled Call of Duty, World War II. It was released on November 3, 2017. In February 2018, Glenn Schofield and Michael Condry left Sledgehammer Games but still working with Activision. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Operations and Culture. Sledgehammer Games operates out of a custom-designed studio with an open-plan space, high-end development equipment, and a theater. 
Schofield oversees the company's creative effort, Condry its business operation. The core development team includes creative director Brett Robbins, audio director Don Vecca, animation director Chris Stone and senior development director Aaron Halon. As of February 2013, Sledgehammer employs about 200 people, with an unusually low turnover of under 1%. New employees are given a challenge coin engraved with the Sledgehammer game's values. The tradition dates back to a World War I practice of giving soldiers coins with a squadron's insignia that could be used to prove membership. Topic. Reception Forbes reporter Bruce Rogers wrote that Sledgehammer Games's first title, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, became the fastest-selling entertainment product of all time recently pushed back to second fastest by Rockstar Games' Grand Theft Auto V with $800 million within 24 hours, beating the record held by James Cameron's film Avatar. The title sold 9.3 million units worldwide and grossed $400 million within 24 hours of going on sale, surpassing the previous year's record set by Call of Duty, Black Ops made by Treyarch. The title grossed more than $775 million globally in its first five days and $1 billion in 16 days, with an average Metacritic score of 88. Modern Warfare 3 also topped the UK video game sales chart in its first week. By November 21, 2011, the game remained the best-selling title in the United Kingdom, despite sales dropping by 87%. Modern Warfare 3 held the top spot on the UK charts for a third week and fourth week running. The PS3 version of Modern Warfare 3 also topped the Japanese chart in its first week on sale. The PS3 version shifted 180,372 copies, while the Xbox 360 version sold around 30,000. Call of Duty: Modern Warfare 3 took the best shooter prize at the 2011 Spike Video Game Awards. The following year, the game was named Game Design of the Year at the Korea Games Conference and won the Global Award from Japan Game Awards 2012 at the Tokyo Game Show. Along with Raven Software and Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer Games contributed to the creation of Modern Warfare 3 DLC throughout the nine month season, which began on January 24, 2012, for Xbox 360 Elite Premium members. 24 pieces of DLC were released for Modern Warfare 3 over a nine-month period. Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, Sledgehammer's second release, received positive reviews from critics. Official Xbox magazine described Sledgehammer Games as the new king of Call of Duty in their Advanced Warfare review. <laughs> Games